All right, let's finish up this build finally by knocking out some details. In this case, the dust cover on the barrel. Notice I'm using the plastic barrel. Just some paper towel, some white glue, hodgepodge is my favorite. Mix it with water, soak the towel down really well, and then you can start to form it into shape. After the glue is dried, you can just cut it away from the barrel. The real one has a seam on the same spot, so it's perfect detail. And then, just attach it to the shiny, shiny metal barrel that came with the kit. Uh, I just use super glue in this case because of the Fabricon metal, but you can use probably just white glue. And then just to attach the barrel to the turret with some gel-like super glue, uh, you'll notice that I attached a couple of straps with the, just the masking tape and a couple of little plastic buckles just to imitate the real thing. The armored covers for the taillights were way too thick and the three little brush bars on it were just covered in flash, so off they go. And then just uh, chuck it in your old electric drill for an instant weight loss program. I use some balled up uh, 80 grit sandpaper in no time at all. It's scale thin. The straps on the jerry cans look cartoonish almost. So under the knife they go. Just strip them off, maybe save the buckle, uh, you can use it later. little gentle sanding so you don't remove too much detail and there's no remnant left of the strap. Uh, I left a little attachment point at the bottom and you'll see why later. I just use common household masking tape to replace the straps. I find it has really good texture to it, uh, just like canvas or leather would be. So I just take a sharp hobby knife and a straight edge and cut a strip the size that you need. The adhesive on the tape makes it pretty easy to install and adjust on the jerry can, uh, so it's super easy. And you can hopefully see the texture I was talking about there. And then you can just fold it over, tie it in knots to make it look more realistic.
then attach a little plastic buckle. I took it off of the original uh, with a few drops of super glue. Super glue will also help permanently attach the strap to the jerry can. At the end, you'll notice I put a little loop in the bottom of the strap where that bracket was that I said not to take off earlier. And there you have it, custom jerry cans. I wanted to add a camo net to the bustle rack in the back using just some surgical gauze and the white glue. Let's spice it up. That's right, I'm using oregano leaves to try to simulate the leaf matter that's on the camo netting. So I just sprinkle it on while the white glue mixture is still wet. And you can pick out the big unrealistic looking pieces with some tweezers. And uh, I think once it's painted, it'll look pretty good. Besides, it's the best my modeling desk has ever smelled for sure. I wanted it to look like the crew had put the camo net away really quickly, so just squish it up with your fingers and then work it into place on the bustle rack of the turret. Just some tent poles made out of styrene tubing and uh, I think we're going to call this build done. <laughs> <laughs>